six plane wrecks throughout history that are still missing. Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beyond Crazy. Six, Flight 19. Flight 19 was a group of torpedo bombers who set out on a United States Navy training flight on December 5, 1945. There were 14 aviators in total who participated in the flight, and for some reason, all of the crew members lost contact with their base while flying over the Bermuda Triangle. After realizing their airmen had gone missing, the U.S. Navy launched a rescue mission, sending out a Mariner flying boat to look for them. This too, however, went missing and was never heard from again. Although neither the plane wreckage nor the crew was ever found, there have been a few false alarms. From 1986 until 2015, various plane wrecks were found, but all of them were attributed to different crashes. Perhaps further investigations will help turn up the missing wrecks someday in the future. 5. The Patri The Patri was a French airship that resembled a dirigible. It was built to be a military airship for the French Army. Although the airship enjoyed several flights, in 1907, disaster befell the aircraft. The airship, which was moored in Suez Mays, France, was torn loose from her moorings in a storm in November 1907. Hundreds of soldiers rushed to restrain the ship, but their efforts were in vain. The ship floated away and drifted out of sight. That wasn't the last time the ship was seen, however. Sightings were reported over the following days in the English Channel and lastly in Belfast. Eventually, however, she drifted out over the Atlantic Ocean, where she was never seen again. Despite search efforts made to recover the airship, the plane was lost for good after her final sighting. Even today, the ship has not been recovered, and it's assumed to be lost somewhere at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. 4. Canadian Pacific Airlines Douglas DC-4 The Vancouver Douglas DC-4 was an airplane operated by Canadian Pacific Airlines. On July 21, 1951, the plane took off from Vancouver International Airport on Flight 3505 with an initial layover in Anchorage Airport. All seemed to be well, and the flight was on schedule for the first part of the journey. However, as the plane neared Alaska, heavy rains and ice began to pick up. Still, the plane made no distress signals, and everything seemed to be fine. However, when the airplane had still not landed in Alaska two hours after it was due to show up, the U.S. and Canadian Air Forces launched a search. The search was unsuccessful, however, and eventually had to be called off. Neither the passengers nor the airplane were ever found, and experts believe that the wreckage was destroyed in the crash. 3. Gustav Hamel Wreck Gustav Hamel was a British aviator who piloted planes during the early days of flight. However, it seems his passion got him into a lot more trouble than he bargained for. On May 23, 1914, the young aviator was flying over the English Channel in a Moran Saulnier monoplane. The plane was a new addition to the pilot's collection, and he was planning to use it to compete in the aerial derby later that day. Tragically, Gustav would never make it to the derby at all. He was spotted flying over Calais, France on what was supposed to be a 25-minute flight. However, strong winds picked up and blew Gustav off course. When the young pilot didn't show up in the expected amount of time in England, a search party was lost. After just 48 hours of searching, however, the pilot was declared dead. Although a body that's thought to be the pilot's did later show up, the aircraft wreckage has never been found. 2. Trans-Tasman Flight Disappearance Many plane disappearances have happened due to pilots attempting to push limits, break records, or win competitions. One such fateful flight is that of Lieutenant John Moncrief and Captain George Hood. The two airmen were determined to make the first trans-Tasman flight departing Australia and landing in New Zealand, and in 1928, they set out to do so. On January 10th of that year, the two airmen departed from Sydney at around 2 o'clock in the morning. For the next 12 hours, the two men sent radio signals from their aircraft. However, despite the eager fans awaiting them in New Zealand, the plane never landed. Eventually, a search party was launched to look for the missing aviators. However, their efforts were fruitless, and neither the airmen nor their plane have ever been located. 1. Dragonfly ZK AFB Disappearance On February 12, 1962, a pilot named Brian Chadwick and a group of four Australian passengers took off from Christchurch, New Zealand, toward Milford Sound. Despite the fact that the weather was looking a bit peaky, the pilot decided that he could make his way down to the sound without any issues. However, it seems that he couldn't have been more wrong. The plane, which was scheduled to arrive at just past 12.30 p.m. in Milford Sound, never showed up, and the airport control at Milford Sound reported it missing. What then ensued was the largest aerial search in New Zealand's history, involving 34 aircraft that flew for more than 400 hours in total. Despite this massive search, however, the plane was never found. 
Today, there are still a few eccentrics who have kept up the search for the missing plane, although neither it nor much evidence has ever been found. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.